I'm transplanting leeks into our vegetable garden. I started these leeks from seed about eight weeks ago and they're ready to put out in the garden. Now when we plant leeks, what we want to consider is blanching. When we eat a leek, we eat the white portion of the shoot and the reason it's white is because it's been buried below soil. So in order to blanch our shoots, I start by digging a deep trench about six to eight inches deep and we're going to set our leeks down in here. You can also use a dibble, uh, which is a great way if you're working in an ornamental garden to get your leeks established. Okay, and trying to gently remove our leeks here. I want to place them about six inches apart at the bottom of the trench. And you can see there's hardly any of the green foliage emerging up above the top of our trench. And that's ideal, that's what we want. We're gonna space them out about six inches. And I'm not going to backfill our trench with soil right now. I'll put a little bit in just to hold our leeks in place. But what I want is for this trench to slowly fill in over time. As it rains, it'll wash more and more soil into here. Or if it doesn't rain, our irrigation will wash more soil in. And so we want to cover these, these uh, stems about one inch at a time. Now in the springtime, once our trench is all the way filled in and the, the shoots start to emerge higher, we're going to want to come in and pull that soil up around it, kind of the way we would hill a potato and just push more and more soil. The more of that shoot that we keep buried, the longer the white tender portion of our leek will be. Leeks will be ready to harvest around June of next year. They have a very long growing season. So we want to not forget about them out here. Make sure that our trench is being filled in and hill them up as necessary. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.